have been approved for my Mexico visa. The pay is less, less drama. I did see bad reviews, but I mean like, I didn't see like people on YouTube talking negative about that place. Like, smoothing and inviting compared to why do you want to be in my country? Uh, what do you do? Like, this is what you do for work? Like, I definitely give kudos to the Phoenix consul. Alrighty, so as you guys know, I was in the process of getting my Mexico visa. All right, and guess what? I got it, yay. I have been approved for my Mexico visa, and not only just me, but me and my daughter. So we are both approved and got our Mexico visas. So the next step is just pretty much uh, taking what they gave me to Mexico and getting the rest of the process done out there, which I'll be like letting you guys know because I'm still kind of like trying to figure that out. Like they did explain to me what to do, but once I get out there, I, I, I guess I'll have like more of a better idea. But pretty much they're explaining to me when I get out there, I will have to like pay again for something else, like pretty much pay for the card or something like that through these people and pay them to finish off the process pretty much because I was already like approved through the states and everything like that. So it's like another, I guess, process. Um, so there's like a link and everything that they um, gave to me. So one of the links they said is in English and there's another, after I do that link, there's another link or something that I need to pay for. And that's strictly in Spanish only. There's no English version of it. So, um, you know, they were kind of explaining like the little process and stuff like that I'll do, but nothing that I have to really, really worry about now. But he, um, I was informed that it is best to kind of start it here while I'm in the US and pay prepay and stuff like that. Um, just so it's not too much of a hassle once I get there. So um, I was informed of that. So we shall see. I'll keep you guys kind of updated all together. Like what's the process once you get to Mexico. So like I said, I'm still learning. So I'll like, you know, I'm gonna have like to figure all that out and ask questions and stuff like that once I get there. Um, but they said like once I land, I'll pretty much instead of um, getting in the tourist line, I'll be getting in the Mexico residence line instead and then I'll show the um people at the airport my passport and everything like that that I have that then I'm supposed to be getting this paper and all such a things so like I said that'll be in a separate video of like what's the next step once you get your Mexico visa and everything like that and I'll try to see if I can record the process because when I went to the Mexico consulate in Phoenix they did have like stickers and signs up saying like no recording and everything like that like no pictures no recording so obviously I didn't want to get in trouble so I wanted to respect that and um not do that so I wasn't able to like you know physically record which I figured is like a government office so I figured I wasn't going to be able to like really record inside and stuff like that but I did want to talk to you guys like about like each step that I had to take to get to where you know where I'm at so as you guys already know like what I explained how um, I was trying to get my Mexico visa in Las Vegas Nevada where I currently reside, and I've had you know issues in a sense trying to get it here in Nevada like I said so it was like right when the pandemic started or like you know a year after the pandemic already hit um that was originally the first time I was trying to get my Mexico visa and the only issue I had at that moment was the job that I had at the time they were trying to figure out like okay like how are you going to make money in Mexico and how are you to do this to be honest like I was just like what I'm doing now in a sense like I kind of was just gonna like go and like bring a certain amount of money with me like that and then kind of like figure it out and obviously like I wasn't going to be like broke in another country or struggling in another country or whatever like I would have came back if anything like that was to happen but um I wanted to at least have a visa so if I did want to stay long um I had that option to and then um just like as of now I've been hearing like you know yes we are we yes we can be granted 180 days which is six months but based off who you get when you get to the airport they might give you a week they might give you two months they might give you three months so if i wanted to eventually stay longer i didn't want to go through an issue of like only being stamped for a certain amount of time having like to get out the country and then walk back in like i didn't want to go through all that hassle i just want to be able to know that i can like you know i don't want to have a worry in my head about like having to be in another country and then oh my god I only have a month so like you know I don't want to go through that whole drama and process so that's why I originally even now like you know want to have my visa just in case because I might stay one month I might stay two but I don't want to like feel like worried about it I just want to like be able to travel and 
feel free to be within the country and not have to you know look over my shoulders every second and like check my visa because you know when you're having a good time time goes by fast so i just didn't want to like go through that so that's why i ended up going to phoenix because of that whole but this was like i guess it's 2000 and like one or so when I originally went to go get like you know my Mexico visa in Vegas and that's when they had told me like okay well based off your career we don't see you being able to do that there so when you can figure like pretty much like they end up denying me because of that and um, I'm not gonna really say denying but she ended up not taking it to the consulate because this is like a pre-interview in a sense before they give it to the consulate to like have the consulate stamp everything so that was just like a pre-interview phase and they pretty much told me no that they're not going to pass my work to the consulate da, da, da. so then again i go back this year 2023 i went back uh what uh, last month i went like the beginning of august um so yeah so we're the end of september now so I went in the beginning of August and same thing, but this time it was a little bit different. So now I have a career that I can actually take to Mexico. And now it's just like, and I make enough, like everything, even last time I made enough everything. So this time it was just like the interview, like it's a different interview at this point. And she's all like, um, so why do you want to be my country? Like, why are you trying to be my country like that? And just, you know, like kind of rude in a sense and like, at the time, like my headspace wasn't all the way there. It's first thing in the morning. You know, she kind of just threw off my energy. Let me just say that. She threw off my energy. That's to keep it 100. She threw off my energy. I was excited. I was like, yes, I'm gonna get my visa. I finally have a career that I can take with me. I can do this. I have like, you know, a, you know, everything. And then she's just like, why do you want to be my country? What, you know, just like, okay. So then she asks me what I do for a living. I tell her and then she's like, okay, okay. Tell me something about it. Tell me your, your job. Tell me, tell me like, and I'm just like, huh? like, it was just like the whole energy was off and she just kind of just threw me off the way she was talking to me and I just didn't really feel comfortable with that so literally I'm over here stuttering I'm over here like what like so I really couldn't get my thoughts together straight so she's just like so you don't know what you do you don't know like what do you do like who are you working for da, da, da. like just rude and I'm just like okay like so like she I guess like just based off how I guess I was answering the question she just didn't feel like she just didn't feel like I guess like just didn't feel like giving it to me like I don't know like it just wasn't enough for her so she's just like well until you can like figure that out or whatever then you can come back and schedule another appointment but for right now no like that and I'm just like okay like you know like it was just like my whole brain was like just thrown off by the way her energy was coming at me that I couldn't even like answer the questions how I know I could have answered them and like like I said like it's always been a dream for me to like travel abroad, especially Mexico. I love Mexico. I love the country. I love the culture. I love the people. Like I love everything about it. So it was just like, there was like no reason for me like not to answer the questions how I should have answered it. But like I said, like she just literally threw everything off. So at that point, Oh, and then I had brought my mom with me just for more support, just because like, I didn't want any troubles to happen. And I know like my mom, like, can be there to like help me like if needed to be and like i think my mom was like trying to like ex like help like when she was asking me what i was doing for work like my mom tried to like jump in and she's like no she needs to be able to answer these questions herself and da -da 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 -da. so she was just rude so i end up was just like doing a little bit more research through youtube and kind of like figuring out like just in case if this whole vegas thing doesn't work where else could i go possibly to get this done so i'm just like okay cool i'm near utah i'm near utah i'm near phoenix arizona you know i'm near california you know i'll go to la like i'm just like trying to figure out like where i can go that's driving distance that's flying distance that's like an hour like somewhere other than vegas just in case if this lady acts up again so pretty much um so pretty much i was like f it i did research and everyone was saying like the best place to go that they've heard you know that's a good place is phoenix and it was like another state as well but they're saying that the other state that they don't take people who doesn't live in that state they don't take them for appointments only take locals so they said phoenix was like a second place that was you know a cool place to go to as well and like i said um in vegas um i believe the qualifications is like around three thousand dollars that you have to make a month to be able to um 
live abroad and um, get a Mexico visa for um, Mexico. And in Phoenix, it was like 2,500 or something like that. So either or vice versa, regardless, I make enough money to do both. So I was just like, okay, cool, let's just do Phoenix. Like, you know, I tell myself, oh, cool, I'm gonna do Phoenix. I'm gonna go off there. The pay is less, less drama. You know, I see, to be honest, a lot of Mexico consulates, they have bad reviews in general, but um, so I did see bad reviews, but I mean, like, I didn't see like people on YouTube talking negative about that place, which I didn't see no one talking negative about Vegas either. And I've seen plenty of people, um, who went to Vegas that actually got approved and stuff like that. So cool for them. But so everyone's going to have different experience, um, than the next person. So, um, you know, I was just like, cool. You know, people are saying go to Phoenix is a, some more simpler process. And yes, I agree. It's more simpler. The people there are super, super nice. The security guard is nice. The, um, the, the consulate's nice and actually it was funny the first time i went the actual person who um i'm not gonna say she's the consulate which it's funny i actually did meet the consulate as well because she actually came down um when um she did my daughter's because i did two separate trips so i first did mine just kind of see the process and then when i seen i was able to get it then i did hers so the first time um the girl the person who's actually part of that department she was actually out of town and i actually was able to meet with one of her another colleague of hers and he was nothing but extremely 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 nice to me and you know he wasn't like my experience here in Vegas was completely different. You know, I was, and then like on top of that, my, my head game was like more into it. Like I was able to kind of focus because his energy was really good to me. Like he was just super friendly off the bat where I wasn't confused by someone being rude to me and like thrown off. So he, you know, he was super, super good. Like he wasn't all like CSI and detective and FBI with the questions. Like he wasn't like, all crazy like he was just like simple like why do you want to move to mexico and what do you do like the same two questions that this girl technically asked but like his energy was more like smoothing and inviting compared to why do you want to be in my country uh what do you do like this is what you do for work like 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 his energy was more like accepting and more nice and kind and friendly so i definitely give kudos to the phoenix consulate because um, out there they're super friendly like I said down to the security guard down to the person who's checking you in like everyone is super friendly and you know they're really really nice to me and I didn't feel uncomfortable at all and that's what I know about you know the Mexican culture like I don't know them to be like what that girl was she's not a rep representation of that at all that was the people that I know so I was just really really thrown off by her where I was just like I couldn't even think you guys like I literally was like really confused like to be honest like i was just thrown off so he was extremely friendly and then um you know it took them two days for mines um to have the consulate and everything look everything over it took two days for everything to go through and then it was funny for my daughter she was able to get hers the same day like just literally within seconds like my daughter got hers like that which is cool so every you can see every experience could be different because when i did the same thing i had to bring in the paperwork you know um for my daughter it was the same thing the only thing different for her that i had to bring in was a birth certificate so when you if anyone who's self-employed um the documents you would need um to take to the consulate will pretty much and it could be different per person so originally i had told them because i'm self-employed um like, what do I need to bring other than bank statements? Like, do you guys need to bring other things? Because when you look up, like, the qualifications and stuff, it's, like, based off if you have a job. So, like, they're expecting, like, pay stubs and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, I'm self-employed, so I don't really have pay stubs. But they, for everyone, they do need bank statements. So, you know, I was just, like, kind of, like, okay, what I need. So they end up not, they end up telling me that they need to bring invoices um, that I'm, like, sending out to clients and stuff like that. And then the invoices that are matching what are my bank statements. So I did bring the invoices, and they didn't end up needing them. They didn't ask for them, and I was waiting for them to ask for them before I gave it to them. And they didn't need it. They literally just only needed my my passport. Well, it's going to tell you everything on there if you go to this, because I know each consulate per state is different. So this is only referring to the Phoenix location. It varies per experience and everything like that. So my experience is not everybody experience so it could be different the girl could have probably been having a horrible day I don't know I can't even imagine her to be having such a bad day at eight o'clock in the morning when they first first opened so I was the first appointment by the way so I just can't see that happening but who knows not everyone you know has good days and stuff or so I don't know what that was but um 
yeah, I don't want to drift anyone from not going there. So if you live in Vegas, you're like, oh, I don't want to fly out though, just to, you know, like that. I get it. Try Vegas first and then, you know, see if you can try a different consulate or something like that. If something like that does happen, if the same experience in a sense. But um, yeah, so pretty much like my daughter got hers and like she was just like, um, she was like, oh, well, you don't live here. So she was just like, um, are you staying for another day? And I was just like, no, I'm actually like leaving like after this appointment. I have to catch the plane with my daughter. We have to go. And then she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to see if the consulate can come down and just hurry up and give her her sticker and stamp everything and check everything. So the consulate came down, you know, that was also a woman. She was super nice and she looked over everything you know, approved everything. And, you know, my daughter actually got hers the same day because she didn't want us to fly back out. Like she was that kind, like she was super sweet. She could have been like, oh no, or you have to wait two days or three days. I don't know. So, because on their site, it does say that they, it could, it could possibly take up to 10 days for you to get your visa. So it does say that on their site. So for them to do it within two days when I got mine and for it to be the same day for my daughters, I feel like that was nothing but like nice of them to do that. Cause they couldn't have did that and I wasn't asking for them to do that either. So I was extremely, you know, impressed by the service that I got from everyone who works there because it was nothing but fantastic, okay? <laughs> so that was just pretty much it. So it wasn't that much paperwork that I was required to bring. And like I said, this is for self-employment. So it could be different for anyone who um, has an employer and everything like that. I'm just saying that this was the qualifica qualifications and um, document that I needed to bring for me um like I said I brought more than other like I brought other documents but the only documents that they took was like I said um the verification letter from my bank the bank statements and the uh photocopies of my passport that was literally it once I got there but I brought a little bit of everything just because I didn't I wanted I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared so your experience might be different where they might need more documents from you compared to me so you know um just to say that out there but other than that, you guys, I'm super excited to be in Mexico and um, to showcase my journey of everything of the country and um, being in different parts. So hopefully, you know, this um, video was somewhat informational for you guys. And if it was, if you can go ahead and like and subscribe just to follow my journey and um, the updates of once I get to Mexico of... Um, how the process of being in the airport is after that and the next steps I need to take to finish off, you know, the process of my um, Mexico visa card and everything like that and getting that. So I'll definitely update you guys with that. And then also because of the fact that my daughter isn't going to be with me for like the first three months when I'm traveling different parts of Mexico and everything like that. I'm also going to like ask the people there to like, okay, what's the next step for when I do bring her? Because um, I believe it is 180 days that she that she can wait until she can enter the country. So um, I'll also update you guys with that because then what I end up my doing is like when she's on like a break like a school break end up just like bringing her with me so she can get hers done or I wonder if I can even get hers done um, without her being there. So that was kind of my concern. Like I would hope, I will want to get it done without her being there. So I don't have to like bring her just to do that. Like, so I wasn't sure. So I am possibly going to bring her passport just in case. So if I'm able to get it done without her being there, but if not, then cool, then I'll bring her. So that's pretty much the end of this video so like i said if you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and like the video and also subscribe to stay in touch with everything and how my journey's going so yeah so thank you guys bye